right, today I'm going to show you how to make a poinsettia out of the heel portion of the, the stocking die. This is another use for your stocking die. What you're going to need to make this flower, I'm going to set this to the side, you're going to need 10 of the heels for the um, flower and two this is uh, cherry cobbler and then this is the um, garden green and you only need two of these so you need a total of 12 and after you have cut those 12 there's um, a rough side and a smooth side this is the smooth side and this is the rough side you, and if you can't see that you can run your finger over it and when you feel those ridges. This is just a little thing that I do that kind of helps smooth it out. I take a bone folder and I just kind of work over those perforations. And what that does is it kind of closes those up so they don't show very much. And then when you do that, it smooths it out and it looks much more professional. You, after you've done all ten of those, now let's just say for the sake of time that um, that I've done all ten of those. You're going to take three of these at a time. And this is the um, spiderweb die, um, embossing folder. And you're going to open that up. And just so you put everything in the same direction, line everything up so that they're all stuck up neatly and then you're going to put the tip toward the center of these webs and you're going to line it up so that the vein comes, it's going to be a vein, it's not right now, but the vein's going to come in to the tip of the poinsettia leaf and it's going to come out the other tip and you want to do that and I've found that you can really only do three and do it well. So you would line those up, close this up, make sure that they stay where you want, and then run this through the Big Shot. Now, after you run those through, I'm going to set this to the side, you'll have ten of those, plus your two green and then go ahead and cut a circle with a one and three quarter inch punch and now we're going to assemble our flower. Now um, something I'm not going to do here on the video but I, I did when I actually created my flower is I took an early espresso pad and I sponged the edges of all my leaves. So let's just say we've done that. Now there are two sides to every petal. There's the emboss raised side and then there's the debossed side we're actually going to have the deboss side facing up. And so when you sponge the edges, make sure you actually would be what you would consider the back side of the, the flower. And just go ahead and place all those down and so that they're all with the deboss side facing up towards you. Now, just for the sake of helping you line this up, find the center of the circle roughly and just put a little pencil mark there. Then you're going to take your Tombow multi-adhesive and just put your glue down. Now this is where you just start arranging your flowers. Now take the the tip and just you're going to place this um, in a star shape and just make sure that you have the um, you know, the edge that we kind of burnished down a little while ago that it's perforated. Just make sure that you have that on the same side all the way around so that your, your petal leaves are the same or all the same. So you're just going to form a star with your five petals. Okay. Okay. So what I've done um, while you were away <laughs> is I turned the leaves over and on the embossed side I put a dimensional about a third of the way up the petal. And then I'm going to take my Tombow and just put a dab down here 
toward the center, what will be the center of the leaves. And just go ahead and do all five and then you'll just save yourself some time. Then you're going to remove the tape and then just put each piece in. Um, and you're going to line those up in between, but make sure you line up that center point. And just press down so that glue can set. I should have removed these before I started. Okay. So basically you have your flower done. Just let, hold that for a, a second or two and let that glue set. Then you're going to set it to the uh, side. Um, you can add your leaves at this point or you can wait a few minutes and do that when you're finished. Um, I like to add them um, when I'm ready to put them on my project so that I have them going the direction exactly, I know exactly where I want. So sometimes I'll wait to add those on. So next we're going to put the pearls in the center. And what I've done is um, just take our, our half back pearls and I've used five of the large pearls and uh, four of the mediums. And I'm just going to take a permanent marker and just color over those so we're, we're having our downline meeting tonight and my friend Nancy is filming us so thank you Nancy say hi everyone Hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay they're just a rowdy bunch you know calm down okay So now that I've colored those, you're going to let that dry for just a minute. And you can go back over it to get the intensity that you want, but you want it dry. So just to hurry that up, I'm just going to fan it for a moment. And then I use an X-Acto blade to lift up my pearl. And you probably should let it dry a little bit longer than I just did. I form my X cross, whatever you want to call it here, with my large pearls. And then I go and fill in with my smaller pearls. Wow, it's so quiet. <laughs> Everybody's holding their breath. Okay. Now if you need to touch up the top, you can just run over the top of those real quick if you get a fingerprint or anything on them, if you didn't let them dry. And there you go. You're good. Okay. Now once you've got your flower completed, you want to give a gentle curl to each of your petals. And so what I do um, is I just take my bone folder and I just kind of gently curl the leaves. And you don't want it curled too much. Um, just enough to make it look a little more realistic. Okay, there you have it. You can also use the um, holly leaf. Let's see what this, I can't remember what this is called. This is the Stocking Accents die in the Holiday Mini Catalog. You can use the holly leaf and you'll get a similar um, effect. It's a little bit smaller leaf, um, flower. And so you can see those side by side. And that's it. Thanks for joining me.